Well, those who are home are finding some problems from frozen pipes to busted furnaces. The cold is causing all kinds of headaches and expensive bills. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield is braving the cold with some tips on keeping your house warm and we'll let you get warm too. You can hurry through this thing. That's okay. <laughs> okay, I'm going to be talking really fast here, Liz. I'm going I'm to tell you something real quick. I was just thinking big goose egg. That is what it is outside. You can see on the corner of your screen. It is 0 degrees or degree, however you say that. I found a little bit of warmth here on the rooftop though. We've got a nice fire burning, but it's cold out here. In fact, it's about 70 degrees cooler than you want it inside of your home. We want to show you some video from earlier here today. We found some very busy employees today. They work with Owens Air Conditioning and Heating out of Bloomington. We went along as they answered a call at a North Minneapolis church in daycare. The company said they were very busy, saying when temps go below zero, if your heater is on its last leg, maybe a little bit older, this will do it in because quite simply, the machines are working extra hard, and so are the heating technicians, like Paul here. A lot of stuff going on, so... Uh, from the time we start in the morning till the time it's done, you're waiting on your phone in case you got to go out on an emergency call to to make sure everybody's comfortable and warm and safe. Now, Paul reminds people if your heat does go out, this isn't just about comfort. This can really harm your pipes. And if they burst, we all know that that can be very expensive here. The best way to get around this, when this cold snap ends, call up a tech, get them to come out, look at your heater, make sure it's in tip top shape for the next time it does go this cold. And at six o'clock, we're going to talk to you about something else that can take your heat out. It's not the furnace, it's actually a thermostat. I'll have some tips on that in just about an hour. All right, we'll let you warm up and see you then. Thank you, Susan Elizabeth.